to start today's off with uh, the Tarsker Storm. Uh, good scotch. Beautiful box. Excellent presentation, Tausker. Uh, uh, interesting fact about Tausker, they have a challenge every year. A 3,000 mile rowing challenge. Them rows for the hose, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they start out in San Sebastian and they row west all the way to Nelson's Dockyard in England somewhere. I would point that out to you, but I have no idea where that's at. But I can tell you that their distillery is located in the Isle of Skye up here. And although you might not have much of a reference for that, you live in the U.S. like us, here's something. Down here is the Islay. So, yeah. yeah, so it is, you can tell it's kind of kind of similar, you know, not drastically far away there. Um, so we're kind of expecting another island type thing, you know, briny and stuff like that. So I've been sneaking snips of this while we've been talking. And I, I'm going to tell you, I want to do this nose injustice. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to read exactly what Talisker has to say yeah. about the nose on this. I will say right off the front, it does have that smokiness that, it that, does. that the eyelids have. Uh, Talisker says, at first restrained yet spicy with a hint of struck matches. Fresh, clean, and growing in complexity like a gathering storm to reveal a honeyed sweet maltiness with ripe red berry fruit. Eventually, a little well-integrated mellow smoke drifts across the scene as a wild sea turns up briny, fresh, clean notes and an oily explosion of pepper. And I will say that I agree with that wholeheartedly. Like the front of that, when you say that it's it's restrained, that makes sense to me because I I lay I like Ardbeg and I was I lays like Ardbeg and Lefroy, they're on the nose, they're very powerful. Yes. Pungent even. This is like a this is like leather that's being hidden by something. Yeah, it's it's like you got a bunch of clothes on top of brand new leather. You can still smell that leather coming yep. through, but it's it's really laid back. Yep, it's very laid back. So, I'm going right in on this beautiful bastard. Oh, God. That is... It's a little... Sp oh. It does have the spice. Yeah. It's got, um... I'm tasting some sweetness. I don't... Not so much the orange like you get in the Highland stuff. No. But it is sweet, though. And uh, a lot of times, I think we've mentioned nuts... I get, it's nutty, almonds, and not really peanuts so much, maybe, maybe pistachio, and um, smokiness, a little bit of that saltiness, the, the brine stuff, like we're kind of expecting that being on an island. I honestly think that the, uh, these, the, the spiciness comes from that salt. Yeah. Um, I think the barrels like probably yeah. kind of absorb a lot of that salty climate, that moisture. And on the end, you can definitely taste that that peat. That peat is strong. The peat is strong. I think the peat is uh, responsible for a lot, a lot of that spiciness in the finish there. Definitely going to be helping. That's fantastic. So, um, price note, uh, price on this, running about 120, 130, somewhere around in there. Um, would we buy it again? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Uh, and, and to score this. I want to score it at a, a good four and a half for yep. what it is and in this competition. Yeah. Um, and, and that's... I want to say, look, when we say four and a half out of five, the reason why we say that is because let's just say we spend 120 on the bottle. For 120, I still think there is a five out of five. Yes. For In that price range, in, you know, comparison to this, I think there's one out there. We just haven't found it yet. We just haven't found it yet. If so, you know of one... Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. We'll um, get it. We'll tell you about it. Or, you know, that price range, 120 130 you have something that you think is better, you know, we, we want to know about it. So, Tosky Storm, four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. Next contender is going to be the Dialmore 15-year-old. Yes! Um, if you watched any of our previous videos, you know how we feel about Dialmore. Fanboys on Dialmore. Fanboy. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. No, I'm not sorry at all. This is a fantastic scotch. 
and the caramel is so soft, but it's it's there. So on the nose, caramel. It's it's so approachable. I mean, Band aids. It's, it's it's very it's very way. approachable. It's very approachable. Yep. In fact, a lot of whiskeys that you smell, they're kind of they're a little harsh with the alcohol. If you if you get into them too deep, it kind of burns. It is not at all. Not this one. Not at all. Um, I smell apple juice. Yeah. It looks like apple juice. Dried fruits. Um, got some. It's a little oily. Can you see the legs? It's a little oily. Got some hazelnut in there. Oh yeah, hazelnut. Yep. And some other random spices. It's got spices in it, like baking spices, like sweet, nice baking spices. Maybe cinnamon, brown sugar. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I'm, I'm tired of smelling. I'm ready to taste. Just like every other dial, more divine. There's almost no burn. I mean, it's it's almost non-existent. It's such a faint burn. It's so smooth. Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost like a coke. A, a, yeah, a, a coke like a fresh a little, coke where it's kind of fizzy. Yeah, a little, little, little burn to it, but not yeah. much. Um, I mean, this this is something that I, I could just like the dial more twelve. I could drink on it all. Oh, we could fanboy over this one. This this is really good. This is one of the best scotches I've had. Trying to keep it short for you guys. Um, on the palate, it's rich. Got a real Christmas, Christmassy uh, taste to it. Yeah, I, I, I can taste Christmas in this one. Yeah, like like fruit cake and something like that. Cinnamon and nutmeg and uh, cherries, perhaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a little raisin. Um, you know, on the end of it, it's uh, it's very sweet. It lingers for a long time. It does. That oiliness. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, I can. If you can see it in the glass, how it's like it's got legs kind of hanging down. It's it's oily. Very oily. It does that in your throat. Now, price on this again. Comparable to the Talisker Storm at yeah, 120, 130, 120, 130. Uh, would we buy it again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. And it, it comes to the score. And, you know, honestly. We no, have to give a winner. We do. We do. And the only, and me personally, I'm going to give the Dalmore 15 the win because if I have the money in my pocket and I have the Storm. And I have a yeah, 15 year old, and I only have money for one. If they're side by side on the shelf for the exact same price, I'm going to shoot for the Dalmore 15. I'll give it to it. So, 4.7 out of 5, Dalmore 15. Dalmore 15. Love it. Love it. But wait. Oh, shit. There's a special surprise, and this is unexpected. Go ahead and. Get into my sack. There's another sack inside my sack. There's a sack inside your sack. Yes. And oh, this it's is a bottle. Hold on. I'm going to feel it. For the St. Paddy's Day shenanigans, I just it's saw feeling it. feeling kind of Jameson-y? Shut up. You, you don't no, know what it. Seriously. You don't know what Jameson feels like. Feel Get it out. Jameson. Quit touching it. And it is Jameson. Black Barrel. Black Barrel. So I'm, I'm a fan and sold on. Anytime I see Black Label... Or a black barrel, or a, literally a black label. I'm a sucker for that. So, um, we, this this is going to be completely off the cuff. Um, we have done no prep on this. No prep. This is, totally uh, and I can't open these worth shit. Uh, here, I'll do that. And grab. Two I usually bears. destroy the tops on these things if I try right. to open them. That's what I'm here for. That's what he does. So. I'm the finesse. But I felt like we didn't really do Jameson justice by just having the regular Jameson. The black barrel sounds like, it, it had my curiosity peaked. So we're gonna give that one a shot. And uh, like I say, St. Paddy's Day shenanigans, give the Irish whiskey one more good chance at it. And uh, after this, Irish whiskey is done. After this, we are moving on. We're done with the Irish whiskey. So. Now that's interesting. Right off the bat, I can smell the barrel. 
If I had to guess, I'd say that's a charred barrel. Oh, whoa, that is something else. Very smooth. That's all barrel. Uh, that, that is yep. all I'm smelling. Yeah, I don't I don't get the alcohol burn either. It's it's definitely the barrel. Maybe some of you connoisseurs can tell us something about the black barrel. I don't know. But not an expensive whiskey. Uh, this one came in at $40 for this. And we had the black bush, which also came in around $40 for us as well. So this is probably more of a comparison for that. But the color of it and the fact that it says black barrel made me think that this is probably a nice, rich, the, smooth. The color goes closer to the uh, the Dalmore 15, if, if you really. Yeah. Look at the color and compare them. The Dalmore has a little bit more red in it. Could, SD 105. Could be the food color. Fuck you. I don't care about that, but but it's the same color as a good scotch or, or several other good whiskeys. So. On, the, on the nose, all I'm getting is barrel. Barrel, and honestly, this is a weird thing I'm going to point out, but it smells like a sticker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A sticker. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in. Oh my God, that's smooth. Dude, that's so smooth. It's a lot smoother than regular Jameson. That got a, got a lot of vanilla off of it. If if I was to put this oh. up against the Powers and the Blackbush again, let me check this before I say that. Yeah, take another little swallow. Man, it's smoother than both of those. But you know what it's not going to be? I'm not going to say it beats the Red Breast. I'm not going to say that for the Irish whiskey. I'm not going to say it beats the Red Breast. However, for the price, oh, for the price, yeah. this beats out the Black Bush, the regular Jameson, obviously, the Powers, Powers um, the Bush, uh, the yeah, Black Bush, Bush the Black, and definitely the, the regular uh, Bush, definitely Bush. the proper twelve. Oh God, yeah, uh, Connor, still love you, even still though you're love him, Joe. Um, <laughs> He's out now. He went jogging. Oh, he's out. He went jogging the other day. So, okay. but yeah, I still love you to death, dude. But your fucking whiskey is trash. So, Call me, I will get your whiskey on point. Have a St. Paddy's Day, good St. Paddy's Day, guys. And if you're looking for some Irish whiskey in the forty dollar range, try this stuff. This is good, very good. We're gonna and again, we are not uh, uh, sponsored by anybody no. yet. If you want to, though, um, drink it. Please don't forget like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. <sighs> on, on the, the couch. couch tonight, we've hit mainly Scottish whiskey. And I'm comfortable with that because it is still in the same area. That's Celtic, man. St. Patty's Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, tonight we're going to end on the Jameson Black Barrel. Irish shenanigans here. It's St. Patty's Day blowout. It's St. Patty's Day. And you know what? Overall, we've reviewed quite a few whiskeys the past couple weeks here. Yeah. And I got to say, as far as budget goes, for $39.99, Jameson Black Barrel. Can't go wrong, dude. Not at all. It's not bad. Um, for the money, though, we we go with the, the red breast. Definitely. The red breast for an Irish whiskey. Um, but when, whenever it boils down to it, Scotch. Scotch is fantastic. The end of it, and it's mainly because there's Scotch and everything else. Until next time. Until next time, friends. Slime Javah.